Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the mediation device protocol. It is a type of MAC protocol in wireless sensor network. This topic is present in the subject ad hoc and wireless sensor networks. It is a representation of a mediation analogy. We are having party A and party B. In between these two parties, a mediator is present. The queries received from party A is conveyed to party B through the mediator. Similarly, the queries received from party B is conveyed to party A through the mediator. The transaction between the party A and party B has been done through the mediator. This same analogy is applicable for this mediation device protocol type of a MAC protocol in wireless sensor network also. The mediation device protocol. The mediation device protocol is compatible with the peer-to-peer -peer communication mode of the IEEE 802.15.4 that is low rate wireless personal area network standard. It allows each node in a wireless sensor network to go into sleep mode periodically and to wake up only for short times to receive packets from neighbor nodes. There is no global time reference. Each node has its own sleeping schedule and does not take care of its neighbor's sleep schedules. Upon each periodic wake up, a node transmits a short query beacon indicating its node address and its willingness to accept packets from other nodes. The node stays awake for some short time following the query beacon to open up a window for incoming packets. If no packet is received during this window, the node goes back into sleep mode. When a node wants to transmit a packet to a neighbor, it has to synchronize with it. One option would be to have the sender actively waiting for query beacon, but this weighs considerable energy for synchronization purposes only. Here is a representation of a mediation device protocol. In this, we are having two nodes. In between that two nodes, a mediation device is present. The transmitting node sends RTS to the mediation node and it is being passed to the another node that is the receiving node. This is represented here. Suppose that node A wants to transmit a packet to node B. Node A announces this to the mediation device by sending periodically request to sender that is RTS packets which the mediation device end captures. Node A sends its RTS packets instead of its query becomes and thus they have the same period. Again there is a short answer window after the RTS packets where A listens for answers. After the mediation device MD has received A's RTS packet, it waits for B's next query beacon. The mediation device MD answers this with the query response packet indicating node A's address and a timing offset which lets node B know when to send the answering clear to send that is CTS to node A such that the CTS packet hits the short answer window after node A's next RTS packet. 
therefore node b has learned node a's period after node a has received the cts packet it can send its data packet and wait for node b's immediate acknowledgement after the transaction has finished node a restores its periodic wake up cycle and starts to emit query becomes again node b also restores its own periodic cycle and thus decouples from node a's period mediation device protocol advantages first is it does not require any time synchronization between the nodes only the mediation device has to learn the periods of the nodes the second one is the protocol is asymmetric in the sense that most of the energy burden is shifted to the mediation device which so far is assumed to be power unconstrained the other nodes can be in the sleep state most of the time and have to spend energy only for the periodic beacons even when a transmitter wants to synchronize with the receiver it does not have to wait actively for the query beacon but can go back to sleep and wait for the mediation device to do the synchronization work in this way very low duty cycles can be supported mediation device protocol drawbacks the nodes transmit their query beacons without checking for ongoing transmissions and thus the beacons of different nodes may collide repeatedly when nodes have the same period and their wake up periods overlap if the wake up periods are properly randomized and the node density is sufficiently low this collision probability can be low too however in case of higher node densities or unwanted synchronization between the nodes the number of collisions can be significant a possible solution to this is the following when the mediation device md registers collision it might start to emit a dedicated reschedule control frame all colliding nodes can hear this frame as long as the md repeats it often enough reception of this frame causes each node to randomly pick a new period from a certain level indicated in the reschedule frame if the md continues to perceive collisions it can enlarge the interval accordingly however under these assumptions it cannot be expected that a temporary md knows all its neighbors periods and wake up times if it is assumed that all nodes have the same period then it suffices for the temporary md to hear an rds from the transmitter node a and a query beacon from receiving node b in order to compute the time offsets and to instruct a node b accordingly in the md's query response the problem with this approach is that nodes a and b may have two or more md devices in their vicinity causing a collision of several query responses by properly randomizing the times where nodes decide to serve as md the probability of this can be kept low thank you very much for listening this lecture for further updates kindly subscribe this channel if you like this video means kindly share this video to your friends thank you